We are back on trying to get Splash and Spark. This is attempt number two. We only need one more of these. Hopefully this gives it to us. And yes, we have finished the first task. We already finished the second one. Alright, so now it is time to get the final two eel toys. They did change the icon to what it's supposed to be, so that is good. Great, there is one of the two that we need. Alright, and the hard part is over with. Let's just finish trading with Ula and do the taming battles. Now we just have to battle Splash and Spark two times in order to get it. I'm so excited, I love this one so much. Just one more taming battle to go. Splash and Spark is ours. I'm so glad. Like, I've talked about in my previous videos how much I love this one, and I it hasn't changed at all. It's still my second favorite mythical epic. So glad I have it, and I can't wait to have it following me around. So here it is in the pet book, Pet 197. so we got it at level 94 let's add it to our team and now we can actually check out its stats in the pet book so let's do that all right so it is a legendary plant mythical epic with 620 health 380 speed 780 power and 470 defense at level 94 i really love these new pet cards So here it is as a heroic buddy. Oh, we got the glitch behind it. I want to see its spells. Alright, so it has Nature's Fury, a plant spell. Water Burst, a water spell. Spark Sphere, a storm spell. And Autumn Gust, a plant spell. Nature's Fury is basically the plant mythical epic attack, so it is charging. All of the new epic exclusive attacks take one turn to charge at the start of a battle. That attack animation is just perfect. That is Splash and Spark, Prodigy's newest mythical epic. We have been getting these for 19 months now. That's crazy. As I said, out of all of them, my new second favorite. What are your thoughts about Prodigy's 19th mythical epic, Splash and Spark? Let me know in the comments.